In today's video, I'm going to use this simple 2D flat world map image and then later on I will turn it into a 3D art like this. In HitFilm Express without using any plugins, without using any add-ons. Stay with me till then and let's begin. Alright, we are on HitFilm Express. First here I'll make one composite shot. Let's set here duration 5 seconds. And here I'll name it as an art. Okay. So in this composition, I'm going to drag one stock image of world map. As you can see here, this is a simple image of a world map. And in this world map, I'm going to apply one effect. You go to the search and type here sphere. So here you can see, and this is a sphere effect. And I will just drag it and paste here. So once you paste here, it looks like this. So before we will do any activity, first of all, I'm going to make one point layer. Okay. And let's make this point in three dimension because it's going to be rotating now. Fine. So this is my world map. And uh, here you go to the sphere property. So first of all, you just go to the position and under the transform, you just make it to this point layer so that all the controls of this sphere is transferred to the point layer. So now if you move this point, you can see our sphere is also moving accordingly, according to the movement of the point. So now you go to the point layer and under the transform here i'm going to play with the y, y rotation and activate one keyframe and at the very end you just make some rotation and you can see our art is properly rotating at its own axis but still few settings needs to be done because here the maps is being stretched a little bit so we need to fix it okay so how to fix it so for that purpose you again go to the world map and under the sphere property you will see here option surface texture okay so you tap here and here you make both wrap x and wrap y you just make it no and here you will see another option called scale ratio so you just make it two so once you make it two you will see that our art is properly is being appeared now with without any wrapping issue or without any stretching issue okay so basically there is no hard and fast rule but if you increase this value so you will see our art is being disturbed for example if i make it less than one so it will be something like this so two is the optimum value basically so you always make it two so here i will make this world map as well three dimension you can increase the size as well you go to the transform property of this world map under the transform you can increase the scale so that it becomes a little bit large so almost done but here i'm going to add one more thing that is the light okay you go to the new layer and add one new light under the light property if you go to the position and you can play with the z value So that our art becomes more visible more bright okay so you can see the difference if i disable this light it becomes like this and if i enable this light it becomes like this so it's a perfect art now so here you can place any background behind it let's say uh say i have a stock clips of this galaxy background so it's very simple so now here I'm going to show you another variation of this art. For the moment I just delete everything. Okay, it's just remove this composite shot from here as well. And again I'm going to make one new composite shot. Let's say art. And here you set the duration of 5 seconds. So I have another image of world map. As you can see, it's a simple world map. So first here I will make the color proper white. So you go to the fill color. And apply the fill color here so it becomes now proper white as you can see my white color is activated you just raise the scale a little bit and in this map i'm going to make one plain layer okay so let's select a color red you just bring it down 
and here I'm going to reduce the opacity of this plane layer so that it becomes a little bit transparent okay so it's fine and now here I will make another composite shot let's say final and in this final composition I am going to drag this first composition it means the art and here I am going to apply the sphere effect and let's see you go to the search it becomes like this now so you have to do the same thing again here I am going to make one point layer first and make this point layer 3 dimension and uh, under the sphere property under the position you just change this position to the point layer and now if you activate the keyframe of this point layer so you activate the y value of the keyframe and go to the end of the frame and activate here you new keyframe so that it rotates properly so now as you can see here so our whole map is being stretched now so we have to fix so we have to do the same thing as we did in the previous case you again go to the sphere property and here under the surface texture change the value of the wrap x to no and wrap y to no and here you make the scale ratio to 2 so now you can see there is no issue you can still apply further rotation here so this is a perfect example of motion graphic you can place this now anywhere in any video footage and the most interesting part of this art is so it is transparent now you can see the background okay it looks like it's a made of glass you can play with the refraction property as well you can manipulate the value of the refractive index so by the way refractive index is a property uh, if you're a person of physics then you already know what refractive index is okay so after making it one you can see it looks like a perfect ball of glass now you can place it in any video footage so let's say I'll make another composite shot here so let's name it as a main and in my main composite shot I have one new video footage so in this video footage I'm going to drag this one okay you just reduce the size you can place it anywhere and if you play this you can see our art is properly rotating so this is a very simple trick using just only one effect so here I have just shown you only one example using the world map you can make anything you can make planet you can make some fireball or anything let me know in the comments how you found this video if you found it helpful then smash the like button leave your comments and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon i'll see you in the next video till then goodbye